um, lots to talk about in this mm -hmm. game. Can we just start, despite the VAR and everything else, calamitous defending? Is that ultimately what has cost you this game today? Yeah, I think, um, first of all, some set piece uh, situations in the first half that we talked about we tried to train, but, but regardless, we know that this is one of their strengths here. Um, I thought there were. Uh, I thought before uh, it was one 0 that the game was actually in pretty much in control, um, and then you know uh, I'll be, uh, I don't think it's a penalty the first first goal, um, and then you know what's a shame is we really pushed to get ourselves back in the game at three two, and that's when you know you really felt like the game fell apart a little bit. Um, so we have to get better defensively. But we have the, the 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 tough part is is now we give up five in one game and we've given up five and five and we've actually been fairly stable, uh, but this game was a little wild um, and then and then we weren't able to, to to do well enough. Some of the defense looks pretty inexcusable to mm -hmm. be honest. Jesse and Diego Lorente seem to have a shocker today. Robin Cock made a few bad decisions. What what do you say to them? And what do you do with them now? Because. If you want to point the finger, you're probably going to point it there. No, yeah, I mean, I, we're never going to point fingers, you know, and, and if, if anyone wants to point fingers, then it should be at the, the manager, and, and I have to put the players in position to succeed. Um, and we've been doing a really good job, you know, obviously this is, I think we've had a lot of decent games and some really good performances and picked up some points early in the year. Um, we know that we're going to have a lot more to do, that teams are also understanding what we're trying to achieve and we're going to have to be able to adjust in matches. Um, sometimes we put our center backs in difficult situations because uh, when we like to counter press and be very aggressive with certain things forward that, that we, we need to put out some fires, but, but when we're tactically sound I think we've done a good job of that. And again, before even one nil, I thought we, we were we were fine in the match. And then even at uh, at the beginning of the second half, we create some big chances, and maybe we could make it two two. And then obviously the game gets crazy. Was it a tough call to take Jack Harrison off at half time? No, I felt Jack was a, a little bit tired. It wasn't, you know, I mean, we put a lot into these guys over the the, the three game week. Um, and I, you know, we were thinking about making more subs at half, but we just decided on that one. But Jack's been fantastic. It was, you know. I didn't. I just didn't feel like he had his legs and his power like he normally had. So then we decided to, to try to put someone else on that could push the game a little bit. And, and what happened with your scenario of getting the red card, Jesse? Yes, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I, I was calm even when um, we uh, Brentford was given the the penalty, even though I didn't see it right away. But normally, when the phrasing and verbiage is clear and obvious, and it takes that long to watch it and look at it and it's not so clear, then normal, normally for me it's not clear and obvious. And then when I see it after the, at halftime, I don't believe it's a penalty. And if it is, it's an incredibly soft one. And, and I was told by the, by the referee committee and by the league in our manager's meeting before the season started that the threshold for penalties was going to go up. So that was not, for me, represented by that decision. Then in an action where I think uh, Crescencio Somerville is actually more of an egregious foul and it doesn't even get looked at for VAR, yeah, I, I'm clearly dissatisfied. So um, i got to figure out how to have discussions with the league or with referees or something to, to help understand you know, how some decisions get made. Can we move on to Graham, please? Sorry, Adam. Um, can you talk us through uh, deadline day? And, uh, and yeah. just, just how remarkable that day was. Yeah, so, um, you know, I think I told you guys that we kind of had A, B, and C options in a lot of different ways, and, and we were kind of sorting through how to get things done and trying to evaluate how to make moves. Um, you know, it was a very crazy last 48 hours. We had a plan. Um, and, and certain things got pulled out from under us based on decisions from players and agents and clubs that, that we didn't anticipate, that we, we thought we were on the same page with certain things, and it turned out we weren't. And then in the end, we, we still wanted to, you know, we, we had been following Willie Nanto's uh, progress for, time, for some time, and we wanted, we were thinking that we'd leave him in Zurich with the idea that maybe we'd bring him in, the, in a transfer window or maybe two to just give him time to continue to develop where he was at. But then when we felt we, felt we needed to accelerate that decision based on what, what, the, what the window was panning out to be. So, um, you know, and I, I've, heard, I've, I've heard that there's been some criticism, but I think actually we're very happy with our transfer window and I think we've made a, some really good additions and we're going to continue to get stronger as a team. 
you got Lou Gehling back on the pitch today yeah. and Bamford back on the pitch as well. Do you feel like, even though today's a setback, the yeah. squad is still getting stronger? Listen, I said last week that I liked our team, and that, that doesn't change. Um, in fact, we're, we're, we're getting healthier, like you said, and we're going to get some key guys back, and I think it will uh, bolster what we're accomplishing with our team. So, um, you know, we even when we beat Chelsea, there there was a lot of fanfare around how we were doing things. But in internally, we knew we still had a lot to do, and I certainly knew we had a lot to still do, and that this league is very difficult. So, um, we will we will continue in that way. But but again, I like our group a lot. Rasmus obviously missed out today, but Cody comes in. I imagine it quite short notice, given what yeah. you said it was on Thursday. How do you yeah. think Cody did? Yeah, Rasmus picked up the injury right at the end of training, um, so Cody didn't have much time to prepare. I thought, for the most part, Cody did okay. It's another opportunity with him being on the pitch that we'll work with him on certain tactical details and what his role is. But overall, I thought, I thought, I think, is that his first prem, Premier League? Second, I think. Second. Yeah. Okay. Thought, thought it was okay. At Sinistera scoring again, proving mm -hmm. to be such a quality outlet for you in the final third, is it just a case of getting into 90 minutes now and having yeah, yeah. more of it? Yeah, I mean, even you know, he at halftime, I could see, was tired after yeah. a full week. Um, but we wanted to keep him on the pitch to see if he could make one or two more plays. Um, even at 2-1, I was, you know, we were pushing the game, but I was trying to think how to get, how soon to get fresh legs on the pitch, and then it goes to 3-1 on a, on a very strange play again. Um, so... Yeah, it was a weird day in a lot of different ways. But again, we'll, 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 we need to learn from these situations, myself included, and we need to continue to, to move forward in a positive way, in a way that we're, we're all together. Thanks, Jesse. Yep. You talk a lot about challenging referees. Is there a danger through doing that, that they start to deal with you differently yeah. or it influences you? I, I'm, deal with I'm witnessing that, Phil, I yeah. think, straight away. And that's why I need to have some more conversations. I don't know how the avenues work of, of how to, who to talk to and what to say. I know that the league, um, I mean, I know that our club has reached out a couple times, but maybe it's time for me to have some discussions and try to figure out why some of these things are happening and, and how to, to have dialogue. Um, I've tried to publicly be positive about things, but I've, on match day, been uh, a bit frustrated, specifically the last three matches. Um, so, again, and, and what I said to you, my strategy is, to, I, I was speaking with the fourth official, trying to be as respectful as I possibly could, even when a penalty was given that I probably didn't think was a penalty. But And then, you know, when you don't see it reciprocated, it, it, the respect, that's what I would call it, is that, that, that lack of a VAR visit, in the end to me, is a lack of respect. Could you run us through the Dan James transfer and why Dan is gone and, and where you saw him in your plans? Yeah, I mean, it was clear that if we needed to, to add something, that we needed to move something. I hate speaking about it that way because I, I, I love Dan James. He's an incredible person, um, and he gives everything to the group, always. And But when we were trying to think about how to get the balance right in the team, this was the, 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 he was garnering the most interest, and it was the only way that we could create flexibility to try and go out and add, add a striker in a, in a position that we felt we needed. So um, I wish that we, we wouldn't have had to do it, and, and, and even the way that it went down, because it was kind of tough for Dan. We discussed it, uh, you know, weeks before um, the transfer deadline about the possibility and then we had a lot of open conversations with Dan and it was tough at the end because I know he likes it here and his family likes it here. So I wish him luck and, and I really like him and, and you know I hope he has a good season and a good World Cup and hopefully then we'll, we'll see him again next summer. Thank you. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Thank